gosta de pegar? Qual o livro? Da Adinha. I'm sorry, na Adinha. Na papel. Say no. In which the lab, the African Abyssinian companion of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is called the third part of Islam, or one third of Islam. What you are looking at are hadith which describe Muhammad having sex with Aisha when she was nine years old in other terms consummating the, ma the marriage he married he, he married her when she was six years old the reason I'm showing that is because I want to highlight the picking and choosing that's going on with the Arabized Negroes and the lambs and the groupies when it suits you you want to mention some hadith that talks about um, Bilal who like I said before is not even in the Quran so now that suits you Yes, Bilal is this, is that. Now, what about this hadith there? He was 54 years old and had sex with a nine-year-old girl. What, what do you Arabas Negroes have to say about this? You are weak as hell. It's, it's, look, this is part two. I'm bringing the fire. It's going to be fun for me. The only thing that's annoying that it takes time. That's the only thing that's annoying. You understand? But it needs to be done because it's a new day. We're going to stop with the falsehood. You are going to come... Come to the play correctly because we're sick and tired of this. You know what I'm saying? Too many lames running their mouth, attempting to teach, and they don't have no knowledge. They only have trick knowledge. The truth will prevail. Let's carry on. I will prove today this black for black was a black companion of the black prophet Muhammad, who was a prophet of the black God Allah. Okay. He said that um, Allah was black. He said the black God Allah. I quoted him. You can go back and hear it from yourself. I don't know where he gets that from. You understand? But I'm not even worried about this. I'm not interested. What's relevant to me, or should I say irrelevant, is that he said that Muhammad was black. Now, this is in direct contradiction with Elijah Muhammad and I'm not going to do no he said she said stuff I'm going to show and prove I'm going to let you hear it from yourself your own ears check it out in the book message to the black man in America in page 93 94 it says the Holy Quran was revealed to Muhammad who spoke Arabic in the 7th century AD over 1300 years ago in the book the theology of time by the same author he says on page 3 the Muhammad that was here 1400 years ago was a white man not only it is written but here is the audio clip the Muhammad that was here 1400 years ago was a white man now just for the record some of you must have noticed that it's been a while since the first part and the second part now some things happen I might have lost some things I might have been doing things, it's my personal circumstances. However, before I forget, Muhammad, I was told that his name doesn't appear in the Quran. Some say that it appears twice, some say that it appears up to five times. But I was told that it says the messenger. It appears that you know the Arabic language, so please let us know. So when you say that his name was uh, Muhammad Ibn Abdullah, it means that it comes from the hadith. So once again, you pick and choose and let me know which one is right or not. As a matter of fact, it appears that most of his life is from the hadith. So it's just, just for the record. Let's move on. I have the right, you have the right, to examine what I elders said. What I do is said. What I demand said. And if you disagree with it, if we disagree with it, we have the right. And if we presume to be scholars, or we presume to be teachers of our people, then we don't just have a right, we have an obligation to critically examine everyone that we read. And if we find a point with which we disagree, we have the right. To publicly disagree to state I disagree. 
okay you said it yourself you have a right but since you I guess presume to be more than a scholar you are a doctor you have a PhD you have an obligation to say when you disagree on the same part that's there for the whole world to see I showed and prove everybody could hear and can hear again if they go back that Elijah Muhammad said that Prophet Muhammad that was here like 1300 years ago was a white man you are saying the opposite so one of you is wrong okay it's either you or Elijah Muhammad so let us know obviously if you say that you are right then he is wrong then you need to say so now I heard through the grapevine that my video <coughs> that I entitled Wesley Muhammad contradicts Elijah Muhammad was mentioned during the debate that happened recently okay and I also heard through the grapevine now I'm not sure about this because the first thing that I mentioned is from a reliable source even though you didn't say my name I don't blame you but the second thing that I heard that you claim that white means pure in Arabic or something like that now if it's the case that would be too lame because Elijah Muhammad didn't speak Arabic when he said that he spoke English but then again that second thing is not really from reliable sources so I have to be careful and state it but you still have an obligation and as a matter of fact I have other things you know I want to know if you agree or disagree and it's gonna hurt let's go it's to be continued on part three um, I want to address something uh, all you so-called Pan-African, so-called Afrocentrist, so-called militant or whatever else. Uh, please stop sending me a message asking me to put the videos back up. All the videos were available for free, you know. And y'all were on some BS, you know what I'm saying. You couldn't, you know, couldn't donate one dollar. You know, I, I was getting messages from brothers and sisters explaining to me how hard it was that they couldn't donate one dollar look look you don't have to it's not an obligation it's your right and your choice and my interpretation if you tell me that you cannot donate one dollar means that you don't want to and it's cool you don't have to but then don't ask me to do anything because all the things i've been doing for years y'all never supported me y'all just been running your mouth saying whole tap good work and whatever else you know what i'm saying now i'm going through things i'm not going to tell my life story it is what it is you know what i'm saying what matters the most is the result but if you don't support me, you know what I'm saying, y'all can get lost as far as I'm concerned. When it, when it comes down to it, I have more respect for an Arab as Negroes, even though they are groupies and liars, because at least they support what they believe in. Believing is not knowing, but they still support it. They still promote it. The only thing I ask is for y'all to, to share the information, and y'all were on some BS, you know what I'm saying, some coward tip. And I don't respect that. See, I check everybody, including myself. I check my, myself first before I check everybody else. You understand what I'm saying? That's why I'm straight like that. But y'all don't check yourself. Y'all just opportunists. Y'all just want to grab everything, sit down, eating popcorn, and watching like it's some battle rap or some beef or something like that. You know what I'm saying? It's work. So many of y'all say, oh, what do you do? What do you do? Okay, well, I say, I say for the record, I tell the truth to my people. As far as I'm concerned, that's, that's, um, that's good enough. Because these suckers be liars. But you respect them because they have money. They have many followers and so on. The only thing that these Arabas, Negroes, and the lying Christians, and the lying Jews, Hebrew Israelites are benefiting from is the influence of our oppressors. The influence of our oppressors. Meaning the blood of our ancestors. Y'all respect the politic of numbers. There's so many of them. You must be right. Or whatever logic you have in your brain, which is insane. See what I'm doing? I'm helping my people, especially the brothers, to man up because the sisters follow them. They don't have no choice. They don't want to be lonely. I understand that. That's why I say, you know, stop being a groupie so your girl can drop the deal, though, on one of the lyric. You know, it's not that graphic, but it's just the deal, you know what I'm saying? They're tired with your lame ass, but what the hell can they do? Man up. You don't have to be a groupie. 
So please stop sending me these whack ass messages, you know what I'm saying? Y'all wanna send me the, the, the usual stuff like congratulations and everything, that's cool, but don't ask me to change my maybe in five years I change my mind. That's the way I go now. I don't have no time. I'm reaching thirty years old, I don't have time to waste. And for y'all thinking I might be it might be I might be young, god damn it, Jonathan Jackson was seventeen. You know what I'm saying? Hugh Newton was young as hell. And many others, you know what I'm saying? As time goes, people when they are age, our children, they're not supposed to know as much as we do. They're supposed to know more. That's called progress. That's called evolution. But your suckers are on some stagnation tip. I don't have time for that. So look out for part three when it's ready.